hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and to my old and returning subscribers you guys have been amazing so in today's video i'll be talking about the meat <laughs> i don't know if i pronounce it well without right in this on the screen or the misconception that people have or wrong impression that people have about wigs because whether we like it or not wigs are here to stay wigs are taking over for the past like going to three to four years and far from four to uh, four years now weeks have taken over a lot of women wear weeks more these days more than just going to the salon to do their uh, hair because it saves time uh, money and also the stress of sitting down for hours making your hair and all of that so but still there are still some myths or misconception and also mis uh, you know, wrong impression about wigs that I want to talk about in this video. So, the first on my list is that wigs are not natural. They look fake. Says who? Since when? <laughs> this was that era of like four or no, not four, like 10, <laughs> 10, 15 or 12 years ago that wigs was the no there were no wigs uh, like you know like there are there are no wigs like the ones that we know now that in fact anybody that wear wigs they used to call the person like you know the person say ah oh, mama that wigs are meant for old people you know that when you see them you say hi you know i remember then that we used to laugh at there are some very elderly women that wear wigs then and truly <laughs> those wigs kind of look funny you will know that they are wearing something because they are not natural looking back then so it makes them look odd it makes them look somehow but currently for the past should i say three to four years now the the narrative the narrative has changed because wigs no longer look fake thank god for closures thank god for for front as in god bless those people that came up with that idea of closures and front even back then I even am somebody that I am not a huge fan of wearing wigs. I don't like wearing wigs because I feel they are they are not you know they are not uh, natural looking. But thank God for closures. Thank God for front house. They have made wigs now look natural when you wear wigs. In fact, if you give somebody that like you give a good stylist or a company that will do a good, well customized wig for you, you will not even really notice that you are wearing a wig. So. That impression of uh, uh, you, the wig makes women look fake because men are fond of saying that they will say ah it doesn't make them look natural. That's a big lie. There are good wigs out there now that when you wear it, you will not even know. It will make you look good. You will not even know. It doesn't look fake. It looks natural. So that's a myth or that's misconception about wig is a lie so another myth or misconception about wigs is that wigs are uncomfortable says who <laughs> that was back in the day that when you wear wig you, you feel i'm not comfortable i'm not this i'm not that because number one then it was only on synthetic airs and you know synthetic air can be somehow like you just make it all over the place and the type of wig caps that they were using back then doesn't make you comfortable when you wear wigs but currently right now the narrative has changed wigs are now more comfortable that in fact people even prefer wearing wigs me i prefer even wearing wigs now more than just going to the salon to even make, make my hair or do my hair because of they are making it in a more a refined and more comfortable ways there are different type of wig caps that they are using right now so then it will you know that the wig caps they use then will be giving you heat or something but they are using good wig caps like dome cap mesh cap you know electric and elastic band although that one is even optional because that elastic band too can give you headache but there are still some elastic band it depends on how they fix it. it depends on how they do it even without the elastic band thank god for mesh cap you can wear it in fact the wig i'm wearing now there is no wig band i don't even really use wig band elastic band on my wigs and i'm still comfortable because i'm using you know i wore a wig that was made with a mesh cap so those days that they will say wigs are uncomfortable it gives you headache this is that that's a big big meat or big miso uh, that's a big lie there is nothing like that anymore wigs are comfortable now in fact more comfortable that 
I can't even remember the last time I braided my hair. I can't even remember the last time I carried my natural. Uh, uh, I can't even remember the last time I braided my hair because I'm also used to wearing of wigs right now. If they're not comfortable for me, I will not be wearing them. So that's a misconception and myth about uh, wigs being uncomfortable is a big lie. Another misconception and also myth about wigs is that wigs are meant for those that have those that don't have natural hair or those that are suffering from scanty or hair loss no that was then i remember back in the day yes we have that mentality that is those people that don't have hair that wear wigs but not anymore the narrative has changed hey, even those with full hair those with scanty hair any texture of hair right now people are wearing wigs it's not meant for those that are don't you know those that have scanty hair or don't have hair that was then but not anymore different in fact anybody can wear wigs night right now different people are wearing wigs so there is nothing like oh it's for those that are their has scanty hair just to cover up their hair that one that was then but not anymore so that's a myth and that's also a misconception about a wig so another myth and another misconception about wigs is that wig causes hair loss hmm to some extent, I don't know, some people might say that, but that's a big, big lie. It doesn't do that. In fact, even there are some people that is even true wearing wigs that they were able to get back their hair, get back their edges and all of that. Because some people feel that when you wear wigs over time, it begins to mess up with your edges, begins to uh, pull off your edges. That's a big lie. The only thing I will say is that when you are always wearing frontal wigs and when you are wearing frontal wigs is you are always installing always applying a uh, glue on your fronts on your edges that is the only way that can make your wig you know cause hair loss for you but if you are just wearing wig normally like normal closure wig it doesn't do that it doesn't cause hair loss in fact it will make your hair even grow longer because by the time you put cornrows and you wear your wig it will it will help it in making it grow fast. It will even help your edges because you don't need to stress your edges where by braiding it all the time or doing one uh, style or one thing or the other. And another thing is that when you maintain, when you pay attention to your natural hair or your relaxed hair, it will not, it will not break. It will not uh, cause hair loss for you. So maybe those that experience it is because maybe they ignored their natural or relaxed hair. So that is why they feel that it's it causes hair loss so that misconception about a wig causing hair loss is a big lie these are some of the myths and also misconception or wrong mentality uh, that people have or uh, about uh, wigs that you need to know so tell me anyone to that i did not add on this list as well let us share rob minds together in the comment section so that's it for this video i hope you find this video interesting and also informative as well and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and also subscribe if you haven't to join the family thank you for watching see you in my next video bye for now